I think those look adorable. <laughs> they don't need to be perfect, perfectly round. That's how you know somebody made them. So spaghetti and meatballs is like this classic comfort food, but what happens if you don't eat meat or you don't feel like dealing with meat? I have an answer. Eggplant, meatballs. It's also a really great thing to do when you have a buddy nearby. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> Hi, Sam. So happy to be here. There's a couple things we have to do first thing because they take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Eggplant is one. Okay. We gotta cook the eggplant. Let's do the eggplant. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna be poking it with a fork. All over, right? Right. Fork it. <laughs> Technical term. <laughs> so now I'm gonna put this into a 350 degree oven for about an hour. Yes. Okay. Okay, here's my eggplant. Nice and softened. Ready to go. Yeah, ready to be um, squished. All of its squishiness removed for our purposes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. It's still pretty hot, so I'm just gonna let it cool off for a minute while we do the other stuff. Great. Are you gonna tell us about these? Yes. So this recipe originally comes from Domenica Marchetti, so she's written like seven Italian cookbooks. She wanted it to be more meaty and delicious, so she added these handsome guys, dried porcini mushrooms. So I'm adding one and a half cups of hot water, and you do wanna measure it because we're gonna use that stock again later. So that has to soak for what, maybe 30 minutes? Yeah. To soften up? Yeah. Great, now I can do some work. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was doing everything. I know, okay. So the other thing you wanna get going before you start making your meatballs is, is your sauce. All so, right. okay, I think while you're doing that, I'm gonna chop up these porcini mushrooms. Great, That makes perfect. Sense, right? mm -hmm. They actually really feel meaty. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I just need to mince these? Yeah, you're, you're chopping them finely enough that they'll blend into the meatballs. So here is this mushroom broth. Thank you. Wow, it really does look like soy sauce. So dark. That's amazing. And then it's all just like straight up umami in there. Not burning over here. Nice work. Did you put the garlic in? I did. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> There was no elegant way to do that. So there's a whole lot of grit at the bottom of this bowl because it comes out of the dried mushrooms. As you can see, it's like nice and clear, nice and clear. How far can I take it? <laughs> it's scary. I wouldn't normally think to stir with the tiny guy. Yeah, he's but, so little. But it's working out fine. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, <laughs> that bowl, I don't think that bowl's gonna be big enough. Oh, um, okay. So. We need a bigger bowl, please. Yeah. Thank you. Does that seem better? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm putting my porcinis in here. And then I'm gonna do my eggplant now. Great. I think it's a little bit cooler. Great. You can get all that. What did you call it? All that squishiness? All that squishiness. So here's one thing that's great about this recipe. You don't taste eggplant strongly once you're, you've got all the other good stuff in it, but it just adds so much moisture. This is kind of like eggplant parm meets meatball. I think that would be good, a pair of kitchen shears. I love oh, kitchen yeah. shears. Two large eggs, and that's our binder, right? One of our binders. Mm -hmm. I guess eggplant's a binder too. Yeah, and the cheese and the, cheese. And the bread. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Pretty binding. It's just like all binders. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why it's light. Okay. Cheese? Sure. So this is, I think, two ounces. Pecorino. Pecorino. Mm -hmm. So now we should add a very important ingredient. Yes. These, this is three cups of fresh breadcrumbs. And then we need some flavoring. Yes. Right? And we also need some salt and pepper. Oh. Right. You wanna help me? Yeah, me? I can come, I'm gonna come over. Of course now I show up when, yeah. when this is all that's left to do. <laughs> no, the hard part's still coming. <laughs> hard part. Yeah. The part where friends come in handy. Yeah. So I have a cookie scoop. I need like three tablespoons, mm -hmm. two tablespoons maybe. I'll scoop and you can roll. 
And then okay. once we're done. You do have to kind of press and compact them and you're you're gonna just lap me right now. You're gonna have to help me roll in a minute. I'll help. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to like roll and then smush. And if they're just totally falling apart, you would probably want to add a little more, maybe an extra Jeez, egg. Maybe a little more. more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you over squish them? Nah. Can you under squish them? Yes. Okay. This is the fun part that feels really like <laughs> funny and like pastry, but it's not pastry. Do you want to do it? Yeah. All right, so I'm dusting them with just all purpose flour, right? Yeah. It's like the last little bit that helps them hold their shape, and also I think it makes a nice crust. I bet it does, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now they have to chill for 20 minutes. Okay. Let them in. Bye. <laughs> okay, I think our sauce is nice and thick. Um, so now it just gets a little bit more chopped basil right at the end, and seasoning to taste with salt and pepper. Could you add some hot pepper flakes? Yeah. We're gonna do double fry, actually. Yeah, for speed and fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we need a good amount of oil here, half an inch. Okay, now you get to choose your weapon. Uh, I vote spat. Okay, you, we can trade. Okay. <laughs> I think we can probably, well, how are you feeling about yours? Mine feels pretty vigorous right now. I can do it. Okay, let's go. Let's give it a try. Here, well, we have to share the tray, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. At the same Oh, I think I chose the wrong tool. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. They look like Italian wedding cookies. I keep wanting to yeah. eat them. Yeah. Oh, I love those. They're not sticking. Yay. Yeah, that's impressive. Oh, so we're one, one more. more. Yeah, that's All not right. crowded. Hey, mine are already Yeah, to it's kind of happen. Gonna... Ooh, yours are dark. Yeah, somehow my pan ended up hotter than yours. I'm not really sure. Whoa, they're like, this is just really happening. They look good though. Yeah. They really look like meat. Yeah. Because what we're, so we're just crisping up the edges mm -hmm. and then we're gonna kind of finish them. Yeah. In the sauce. And they're so, like, they're so good this way, you almost don't even want to put them in the sauce because they're so nice and crispy. Yeah. Yum. I wish everybody could smell them. I think mine are like pretty done. Go. Not to brag. <laughs> <laughs> now into there. Yep. Oh, this bad tool. Okay, I'm switching. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. Oh, they sound so crispy. Really? Even just as you're poking them with the tongues? That sounds so good. <laughs> so they'll only cook in the sauce for like five minutes because oh, if you simmer them very long or very rapidly, they'll just kind of break apart. Um, when do we get to eat them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Which ball do I want? <laughs> One more basil. I'm going in. Ooh, I heard that kind of sort of crunch. Still there a little bit. Mm. Yeah? Mmm. Wow, that's delicious. It's garlicky. You can't, it's not like eggplant forward. Tons of flavor packed into that. All of, all of that was worth it. I feel like every single thing is mm -hmm. like adding its own special something. They have such a nice texture. Yeah. Yum.